You ready for that clap nose? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Pay attention. Today we're having sushi bowls with quick pickle veg for lunch. It's got all the elements of the sushi we love, but none of the hassle. And also, if you're from a fussy family like we are, you get to make it exactly how you want it. Me and Fabio, we're going to have say tuna. Mm -hmm. Cassia, you're going for steak. Mm -hmm. And Rob, we've got smoked tofu for you. Fabio, can you help me with the red onion? Yes, sir. So Fabio, if you can cut the onion in half and then into really thin slices. Now, while he's doing that, I'm gonna make the pickling mixture. I've got some Japanese vinegar here. It's just a white rice vinegar, but you could use any white vinegar, cider vinegar, white wine vinegar. We need about four tablespoons. And this is gonna give the vinegary element to our sushi bowl. As thin as you can make it, I'm just gonna add a good pinch of caster sugar and a good pinch of salt. Now for the radishes, I've got a bit of a mixed bag here because I like to grow my own radishes. I love radishes, they make a fantastic pickle. In fact, this pickle will last quite a few days. We always have some red onion pickle in the fridge at all times, don't we? Of course. What do you like to do with it? Um, I really like it in a sandwich. Yeah, it's nice with hummus. Hummus. Um, cheese, of course. Obviously. Yeah, it's just a really, really useful thing. You can sort of use it in the same way that you'd use any relish or chutney. It just adds a little bit of zing to quite simple foods. Now for the cucumber, I'm just going to halve it lengthways. This is half a cucumber. It might be quite a lot just for us four. Mm -hmm. um, and then with a teaspoon, you want to scoop out all of the seeds into the bowl. Now I need you to slice it thinly and add it to the bowl. Do you know what else you would like on your sushi bowl? Avocado. Yes, I've got some avocado. Now the final thing we're going to add is some pickled ginger. I love it. Yeah, it's really good. In that goes. I'm just going to give that a good stir together and then leave it to marinate for about 15 or 20 minutes. Longer. Longer if you've got time. Um, so you can come back in a little bit. Sounds good. So Cassie, are you going to help me assemble? Mm -hmm. Now I've cooked some sushi rice. I've cooked half a packet of this, just according to the packet instructions. But you could use any rice you like with this. I mean, it's just our lunch. You could use basmati rice. Gluttonous rice. Gluttonous? Yeah. Like sticky rice? Yeah. Yeah, you could use sticky rice. Let's divide this then between the four bowls. Do you want to do that? Okay. But we're going to add the vinegar and the sugar and the sweetness is going to come from the pickling mixture. So we're going to strain some of that into the soy sauce and use that as our dressing. Okay. So next, we're going to put our toppings on. Okay. So should we start with the avocado? This was one avocado. Yeah, one nice large one. And I sliced it quite thinly. Yeah. Now for the pickle. Yes. Are you going to have some of that? Oh, have you deliberately avoided the red onion and the radishes? No. I didn't mm. know that. Was there radishes? <laughs> it's red. Yeah. Do you want to put a bit more on? No. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Edamame. Oh, I do like it. Now, I'm just going to tip some of the juice, the pickling liquor, into some soy sauce. You need about four tablespoons of pickling liquid to about two of soy sauce, but don't worry because the recipe is in the description. Now I've got a couple of really lovely yellowfin tuna steaks, but you could use albacore too, or maybe even some salmon. I'm just gonna brush them lightly with a little bit of sunflower oil. I mean, they are oily, but just to make sure they don't stick. And my pan is now good and hot. Now I'm gonna start by searing the tuna on all sides, just by holding it vertically with my tongs. And then I'm gonna give that about two minutes. So it's still a little bit pink on the inside. If you want it rare, give it less. If you want it well done, give it four. Now I'm gonna take these off, I think they've had their time. And I'm just gonna slice mine. You don't need to, you can serve it straight, but I think it's quite nice if you carve it first. And it should just be gently pink in the center. Now for the steak. So that's Cassia's steak looking really beautiful. So finally, Robert, it's your tofu. Everything looks fantastic, right? Mm -hmm. It's great. What do you think about your steak? I like it. Now, okay, off you go with your toppings. We have got uh, fried onions, like a dragon roll style. I love a dragon mm. roll. A little bit of seaweed, some black sesame seeds. That might be a bit spicy for yeah, you. You nice. might like that. Nice spicy blend. And of course, the dressing. That looks good, right? That looks great. I need to stop saying right. So you're all done. Mm -hmm. Off you go. A little bit of dressing for you, Rob, and then you're all done. This is delicious, Mum.